As we have discussed in several videos on this channel, Japanese heavy tanks made up only a tiny, almost negligible percentage of the total vehicles produced by Japan. Despite this, heavy tanks from the island nation have become increasingly popular with their introduction into various games. Considering this is an episode of Fake Tank Friday, you can probably guess that the ones we will be looking at today fall short of reality. So join me today as we look at Wargaming's newest Japanese heavy tank line. A massive thanks to today's sponsor, Amazon. The Amazon App Store features a wide variety of games, including World of Tanks Blitz. World of Tanks Blitz is a free-to-play MMO allowing you to take control of over 400 historical and fictional vehicle designs in online battles. Not only can you now play the Japanese heavies we'll be talking about in this video, but the game has also undergone a huge visual update. Unlike pretty much every other tank combat game, World of Tanks Blitz is also cross-platform, allowing you to play not just at home on your PC, but on the go with your tablet or smartphone as well. Check out the link below to get the game on all places linked on screen, or if you want to get some extra benefits, download it using the Amazon App Store. This way, you can save 20% on any in-game purchases you might decide to make when using Amazon coins, and they're offering my viewers a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card for any of you who create an account and comment with your username. Considering you're not spending a penny of your own money to make an account and try the game, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Huge thanks once again to them for sponsoring, and be sure to check out my link in the description to show your support for my content. Now let's get into today's main topic. Our first vehicle of the day is known as the Mitsu 108. Those of you who have watched my previous video on the Ishii 108 may have already noticed the similarities between that supposed vehicle and this one. The Mitsu 108 seems to be a combination of both the fake Ishii 108 and the unconfirmed vehicle known as the Mitsu 104. The style of the suspension and length of the hull are fairly similar to the Ishii 108, but the front and turret placement is more similar to the Mitsu 104. Regardless of the fact that it is fake, this design does show a great example of how real-world designs can be used to create a unique fictional one. Unfortunately, in this case, one of the vehicles chosen has since been shown to be almost certainly a work of intelligence reports and not a real project. Up next, we move on to the Tier 6 vehicle, known as the Ju Nu. Once again, we find a design which bears loose resemblance to something from the real world, in this case, the Chi Nu or Chi To. Although thankfully not mentioned in-game, several of the online sites listing stats for the vehicle claim it to be the result of a cooperation with Japan and Germany. Once again, this is an interesting concept of a theoretical project, but as far as I can tell, there is nothing to support the existence of such a vehicle, despite the claim of it existing in blueprints. As with many Japanese vehicles, it is harder to disprove them with the lack of information available, but I feel confident in saying this one is as fake as the previous. That being said, the armament of the stock vehicle is fairly realistic, being the real Type 5 75mm cannon created by Japan. The upgraded gun, called the Type 3 88mm, could have been made more realistic if the name were simply changed to something like the Type 99 88mm cannon, as that was a real anti-air cannon. In fairness, the argument can easily be made that if used for a tank, the designation would be different. Overall, the Ju Nu is an interesting blend of real-world Japanese designs with a German twist, although I question any reality to this vehicle. Moving to Tier 7, we find a similar tank to the Ju Nu called the Ju To. As you can tell by the name, this tank is similar to the previous. Once again, it is claimed in the online stat pages to use German influences for the design. Like its younger brother, this tank does not seem to have any basis in reality. Most likely, this tank and the previous were created by using the Chi To and Chi Ri and then postulating how they could be made into heavy tanks. The spaced armor on the turret is a pretty unique concept only seen on a few real-world tanks during World War II, although I'm not aware of any Japanese designs which used this. There isn't much else to say about the Juto, but the top gun it features, the Type 92 105mm, does seem to be based on a real gun. With the Tier 8 tank, we finally appear to have reached a tank which could have a real-world basis. 
The Chi Se is clearly a larger version of the Chi Re tank we have covered in another video on this channel. Some information on this tank was reportedly published in an issue of a Japanese magazine from 2011, although I have not been able to locate this information. All I was able to find online regarding the tank is from the Japanese Wikipedia page, so the validity is hard to confirm. Essentially what it says is that the Chisei was a design with an improved suspension and larger turret to allow the mounting of a 105mm anti-tank gun. This is extremely vague information, but my interpretation of it seems to indicate the hull would have remained the same as the Chi Ri. So this would lead me to believe the sloped hull of the tank shown in game is a work of fiction, but given how little is known of the real designs, if it even existed, creative liberties are more acceptable in this case in my opinion. I think it is worth mentioning that there could be a chance that the similarities with this design and the Ho Re Tank Destroyer project are more than a coincidence. Bits of information could have been mixed with other projects, creating new projects out of thin air. Obviously, this is just speculation, but I don't think it's a large leap to say this sort of thing could happen by mistake. Our second to last tank brings us to the tier 9 tank, the Type 68. This vehicle looks quite similar to vehicles from the various STA tank prototypes for the Type 61. Although normally I would not endorse using Reddit posts for reliable tank information, I have to give a shout out to a user called Legacini. They made a very good overview of all the vehicles we've looked at so far, but their reasoning for both the Type 68 and the Tier 10 Type 71 makes a lot of sense. The Type 68 is shown to have a weight of nearly 70 tons. This is nearly double the weight of the Type 61. The lower weight is not just by chance, and as we've seen in the history of quite a few heavy vehicles, logistics are the main reason. Japan's infrastructure in the 60s, particularly their bridges, could not support a vehicle with a weight of 70 tons. The tank we see in game is again an interesting take on a heavier version of a real Japanese tank, but falls short of reality. Last but not least, we reach the Type 71. This tank is pretty obviously a heavy tank version of the Type 74 MBT. With the weights roughly the same as the previous example, we can similarly disprove this tank. Just as I was finishing up editing, I realized I had left out the premium Type 57. Considering there's not much to say about that vehicle, I figured I'd add it in here rather than making it into a separate video. Absolutely nothing comes up when you search this vehicle, and even the online stat pages don't try to make up some story about concept vehicles or blueprints, so I think it's safe to say this one is a complete work of fiction. The design seems to have some similarities to Soviet heavy tank designs from the early Cold War, with not much resemblance to any particular Japanese tank I can think of. Overall, the Japanese heavies in this line are fictional designs created using real Japanese tanks as their basis. Unfortunately, these interesting theoretical designs are tainted by the insistence on linking them to blueprints regardless of whether they really are or not. This further muddies the waters on Japanese tank projects, which are already a difficult subject to research. Is this to say you shouldn't play or enjoy them? No, not at all. Tanks don't have to be real to be fun to play in a video game. The purpose of this video is just to give you all the information I could find regarding each tank so you can be better informed and help inform others about them. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. One final thanks to Amazon for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use the link below for a chance to win a $100 Amazon gift card and the other benefits we discussed earlier by downloading games using the Amazon App Store. Massive thanks, as always, to my YouTube members who support my content with their monthly donations. If you liked this video, check out the rest of the Fake Tank Friday playlist or some of the Cursed by Design videos on Japanese tanks. I hope to see you there.